we wanted to get involved uh, in whatever way we can to ensure that the that the homeless community, the under unsheltered community, is is safe and provided for. A new pilot project is providing warmth and fire safety for those living in encampments by delivering burn barrels given by the Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service. The Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service has collaborated with community partners like Main Street Project to distribute the burn barrels and ensure that unsheltered people stay warm and safe throughout the rest of winter. So far, nine out of the 15 barrels have been distributed to various homeless camps around the city. When it gets really cold, uh, there's not a lot of protection from the, the element, um, and some of these barrels will essentially save some people's lives as well, reduce the amount of harm that could happen to them from uh, regular fires. This is a way to sort of reduce that risk because the, the ground fires are more dangerous than the actual barrels themselves that can be contained. Steve Antel of the Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service says that during the delivery, they provided people at encampments with a list of guidelines to follow when it comes to using the burned barrels. So on the list, we want to make sure that they're 10 feet apart from every structure, that uh, only split firewood is being used, uh, or clean burning wood that they don't want. We don't want to be using them to uh, to burn garbage, and uh, we just want to make sure that they're that they're used in a safe manner. Sean Sousa, the manager of Main Street Project for Outreach Services, says there are people regularly checking the encampments to oversee the use of the barrels. Anytime that our agencies goes and they see something that is hazardous, we notify it and we, and we we let Steve know and Steve will get notified by other sources. And that way we have a constant communication, at least of being able to identify. Sousa says they're hoping to run the program until the spring. Then from there, they will determine how successful the project is. Um, the hope is that, you know, the folks that we visit and where we connect with take care of them and that they can essentially be used throughout the year. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcello, City News.